Hey everyone, it is Velvet. Welcome back to more Persona 3 FES. In the last one, we maxed out the Hanged Man and have started to hang out with the Moon social link, uh, Nozomi, after starting that very early on in the game. And also, it was Christmas Eve, so we spent time with Yukari in this timeline. But I've also done a bonus video where we saw the rest of the scenes. And so now, well, it's almost New Year's Eve, so let's, uh, let's get to it. Let's see. Let's do some social links. It's mostly, we're mostly just going to be hanging out with Nozomi, truthfully. We, we have a Mitsuru and an Akinari on on the schedule, but it is mostly Nozomi, because he is very early on in his social link. Wait, 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 we're not supposed to go to the arcade today. We get to go on a walk with Koromaru, so let us do so. Koromaru is frolicking happily. Koromaru is looking up at you intensely. The promised day is drawing near. Koromaru must be preoccupied with it as well. Koromaru's eyes are full of determination. It seems the good boy has made his choice as well. You decide to go back to the, do the dorm with Koromaru. The dog's strong. As you can see, we're having a week without school about. So we can't do our we can't do our one school social link of Mitsuru. But we do have a Mitsuru social link today. Anyway, uh you think about all that has happened. However, you must still go to school. I thought there was gonna be more there. Yes, we must still go to school. You overhear a conversation. Morning! It's cold today, but it's worth it for winter vacation tomorrow. What are you getting with your New Year's gift? We haven't got ours yet, but I want to get a lucky bag. I'm aiming for that purse. Oh, me too. Hey, do you want to start waiting in line today? We could bring Kotatsu. The first bell has rung. Are Kotatsu portable? I didn't know that. I thought they were just heated tables that were like fixtures, I guess. I guess there might be battery powered ones. I just, in truth, don't know enough about this. Um, winter break starts tomorrow, though I'm sure most of you are just going to sleep in during New Year's. You better stop relying on your parents so much, and don't fall asleep in the Katatsu, okay? Speaking of Kotatsu, I'm reminded of a passage from the famous novel, The Shutter of the East Window. Oh wait, that was a futon. Yeah? You feel tired. Close your eyes for a minute? No, we stay awake. Alright, that's enough out of you. A futon and a Kotatsu are practically the same thing, wise guys. I don't... I don't think that's true. Are Kotatsu not, like, heated? Or am I misinterpreting that? Yeah, underneath is a heat source, formerly a charcoal brazier, but now electric. Yeah. But, like... A futon is just, like, bedding. It's a style of bed- like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're just wrong! Are you having fun teasing your teacher? Look, all I'm saying is that if you're not careful when you sleep in a kotatsu, you could get burned, okay? 
Yeah, I have heard that is dangerous. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Class has ended for today. Hey Junpei, what are you thinking, my guy? I should get to enjoy winter break after a semester like that. But instead, we've got a freaking impossible decision to make. This sucks. Yeah, it's, um... Surely not ideal, I agree. Alright, let's go find Mitsuru. And see what we're doing with her today. This way, I believe, because she's in the faculty corridor, I think. Hello, hello. You'd like I'd like to do a little research, and I was wondering if you'd like to come with me. For sure. And you seem weary? Oh no. Are you okay? Gekukan High School Library. You accompany Mitsuru to, to the library to help her with her research. Mitsuru is looking at the bookshelf. Can I get a book for you? Hmm? Yes, please. Thank you. Mitsuru seems happy. Looking through the literature section made me realize something. There are a lot fewer books about marriage and family life than there are romance novels. Do you think that means the most exciting time in one's life is before marriage? Is marriage worth that sacrifice? Mitsuru seems melancholy. Hmm, what's on your mind? Well, to be frank, the group is in turmoil over the inheritance issue. To be honest, I'm having difficulty understanding the expectations of the other members. But I'm the daughter of the head of the group. I'm expected to lead the company, even if that requires me to sacrifice something to do it. A fiancé has been chosen for me. He's the new president of one of our affiliates, and he's much older than me. But if I agree to the marriage, the future of the company will be secure. He's planning to announce the partnership and our engagement at the same time. Doing so will give the appearance that the company is stabilizing. It's the best solution for everyone involved, but not for you, it seems. That's news to me, for sure. Well, of course it is. You're the only person I've told. Mitsuru is forcing a smile. My parents chose the same path. So I won't run from my destiny. You have to reconsider. You don't seem happy, for starters. If I reconsider and decline the engagement, then what will I do? Leave everything behind and go on a journey of self-discovery? Maybe. You could do that. That is an option. If I did, would you come with me? <laughs> I'm just joking. Hey, maybe I will. That that sounded a lot like a haha unless type joke. Mitsuru forced a smile. Mitsuru has expressed her feelings to you. It seems like things are starting to get serious. A mysterious voice rings in your head. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Empress Archon. Of the Empress Archon. The Mitsuru Kirijo Social Link has reached level 6. Your power to create personas of the Empress Arcana has grown. It seems like things are getting serious with Mitsuru. She might get upset if you go out with another girl. Lucky her, she's the last one remaining. Suzuki, lately I've been hesitant to meet with you like this. It's always just the two of us. 
I have to follow through with my decision. But talking with you has made me lose my resolve. It's your fault I'm feeling this way. Please excuse me. After saying goodbye to Mitsuru, you decided to return to the dorm. I love how the game is now like, you are officially dating. By the way, it sounds like she's breaking up with you. Because that's what it sounds like. But like... Of course, that's not how this goes. Welcome back. Hi! You left me in the library alone. The second term has finally ended. There are only five days left until New Year's Eve. My fear and anxiety still remain, but I'm no longer confused. I will fight until the end. I've made up my mind. Good for you, Mitsuru. I'm very happy to hear that. Brand goods were stolen. The crowd was so large that there are no suspects or witnesses yet. However, the majority of the consumers were buy were women buying uh, Christmas gifts, so... So? What are you two up to? It's going to be winter vacation soon. Wonder what we'll finally decide. Whatever it is, I hope we won't regret it. You're not who I'm trying to talk to. Junpei. The last exams were freaking hard, weren't they? I bombed all of them, but compared to what's going on, the bad grooms don't seem to matter that much. You've said that? Uh, everyone at school is so happy because vacation is about to start, but none of, them, none of them realize what's going to happen. They have no idea about the decision we have to make. No, they don't. Christmas has come. All that's left now is New Year's Eve. Have you made your decision? I think so. Yes, we have had this conversation. Mitsuru... When I think about my grandfather and what he did, I get so angry. If it wasn't for him, everything would be okay right now. I know it's not good to dwell on the past, but... <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's rough. I wonder what Ryoji can... Yep. I bet he'll cry. So Mitsuru and Akiko had new things to say, huh? That seems almost appropriate, actually. I wonder about Junpei and Fuka. Because the other characters have come in pairs. I don't recall if they come in pair, a pair or not. If so, that is a very odd pair. You know? You know what I mean? Like, they don't really seem to be close friends, aside from Junpei trying to flirt with her, like, immediately. But, like, that's no longer, like, a thing now, so... I guess we'll see in the upcoming days. Winter vacation begins today. Junpei. Huh? Junpei come? They do come in a pair then. I see. They're kind of the leftovers, but no oh well. Ah, oh, hey, Fuka. What are you doing here? Nothing, really. I come here when I'm feeling down. Is that Chidori's sketchbook? Yeah. This is where I first met her. What are you doing here, Fuka? Oh, I went home for a bit. I've been going back there a lot lately. I see. You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're totally different from when you first came to the dorm. Really? Yeah, you were so timid back then. But now you're so... strong. You've changed too, Junpei-kun. Yukatan said the same thing. But I don't think so. I mean, just the other day I got all freaked out about being scared. I am such a wuss. <laughs> That's not true. 
But I really was scared. Actually, I'm still scared. But after thinking about it, I realize that I don't want to lose my memory. If I forget everything, that means I'll forget Chidori, too. And I wouldn't even be alive right now if it wasn't for her, you know? So I say F that. You're scared because you're not running away. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Fuka. That's why I want to protect everyone. Think about it. The Dark Hour is really scary too, isn't it? But our persona's awakened, and we're here today. The future hasn't been decided yet, and I want to be true to myself. True to yourself? You're really something, Fuka. We should fight. I agree. <laughs> okay, that was a really good scene, but the last two lines, I remember seeing out of context now. And I had forgotten that that was the scene that they're from. Just, we should fight. I agree. <laughs> well, it's Sunday, so... Let's check and see what, what Tanaka has for us. What worthless thing are we going to spend our money on? Silver plate with more mind supplements. Sure. I'm using up all my money on this. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be. The silver plate might be useful though. It might be good defense. We'll see. Anyone up here? No? Okay. <laughs> on the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Episode 45, Hot Cocoa of Victory. Find the demon Robert, Robert robot's opening and then defeat it. And now the news. We'll be going over by 15 minutes today to go over ways of preventing apathy syndrome with famous... Ooh. I, I don't know that's going to be successful, but I wish you luck. Christmas is over. All that's left is New Year's Eve. Ah, you go. The end of the month is coming up what we'll finally decide yeah hope we won't regret it and then when you think about your grandfather yep all the same so now we just have Junpei Fuka and Ken to double check um, but of course we have Akinari to uh, to visit today Hey man, how you been? How you feeling? Hey you! Makinati <coughs> <coughs> seems to be ill. Sorry! <coughs> if you don't mind, please stay until I've recovered my breath. Of course. Thank you. Just give me a minute so I can calm down. Akinati is having trouble breathing. Yep, I'm right here, man. False alarm. I had some pain, but it's better now. It's calming down. Thanks. Akinati smiled at you. I... Stopped taking my medicine. It's not going to fix me anyway, right? It just helps for the pain and spasming. What are you thinking, my guy? I can't say I don't understand the thought process, but like, you gotta do what you can for yourself, right? My medicine makes me drowsy. 
And if my hands go numb, then I can't write anything. I have to finish my story. I suppose I understand that, but still. Akinati is determined. The reason my story is unfinished is because I haven't found the meaning of life yet. I get lost in my writing, erase it, and then don't know where to go next. When we're talking, I have a clearer picture. I can almost see it. It seems like that might be the meaning of life for me. And probably writing this book to find the meaning of life. Well, if I do find it and finish the story, I hope we get a little more time together after that. Of course. I'm with you till the end, my friend. Akinati smiled weakly. Your relationship is stronger now! <laughs> A mysterious voice rings in your head. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Sun Arcana. The dying young man social link has reached level 8. Your power to create personas of the Sun Arcana has grown. The sun is setting. I hope to see you again. You decided to go back to the dorm. Hi, how was your day? It was pretty alright. How about yours, Fuka? Four more days until New Year's Eve. I've been thinking about what I'm going to do on the 31st. I was afraid I might go crazy from fear. But I was wrong. I feel strong. Because everyone is with me. I see. That's a good feeling. Hold on to that. Chidori gave me her life. And I won't forget that. I'd rather die than forget. You can still- you can remember and live. We're gonna make that happen, Junpei. I read in a book that fear is an emotion we learn to keep us away from danger. But I don't think you can truly live if you're always running away from danger because you're afraid. By facing our fears, we feel alive. So I... You want to face your fears, yes? Respectable. My schoolmates are probably enjoying their vacation. They're probably sitting by the fire, drinking hot chocolate. Oh, I wish I could do that. Unfortunately, we have the burden of responsibility, huh? We do what we can. Right, I don't want to leave because I have a walk with, uh, with a j j j j j j j j j So let's do that. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Hey, Kodamaru, let me borrow your fur. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't take his fur. Uh, you already made your decision, right? Yeah, I made mine too. I just wanted to let you know. Oh, I saw Fuka today. She's pretty tough. She wasn't like that before, but she's gotten way stronger. Talking to her was like that last little shove I needed. Girls are tough, and that's no joke. He spoke with Junpei for a while. <laughs> are you saying me too? Don't worry, dude. Everyone knows what a tough doggy you are. Oh, that we do. Kodamaru's the strongest of all of us. His persona never evolves because he's already perfect. <laughs> Monday. Winter vacation continues. 
that it does. And we have uh, a week of hanging out with Nozomi, so let's get to it. Is anybody around? Anybody got new little goodies for me to hear? Yes, no, maybe so? Ken, what's up with you? Yep, your schoolmates are all enjoying their vacation. Behind the Christmas smiles is a hard-fought battle. Today, the lights in this toy store that have been on for 50 years have gone dark. That concludes our special report. Next, today's news. Oh no. It's always uh, sad when a long-run small business like that goes under. The end of the month is coming up. Mm-hmm. Everyone's around, damn. Hmm? I guess. Oh, don't worry about her. She's being treated as we speak. Will she be back in time for our decision? I hope so. Doesn't it seem like the expression on everyone's faces have changed? It's like they've all come to a realization or something. Yeah, I agree. Wonder if everyone's made up their minds. I, I, I seem to think so, yeah. You're kinda slow, huh? You have no clue what's going on with the others, do you? So, have you made your decision yet? Nope! Chidori gave you her life. Fuka probably says the same thing, right? Yeah. I imagine. Did you say the same thing? Oh yeah, you were talking about I guess. That's correct. I don't know how I forgot about that when it has been uh, two seconds, but... We, uh... I am not very smart, I guess, is the takeaway. Except for the times when I am smart, of course. <laughs> hey, Nozomi. Oh, you're just eating and burping. Hello? Wondering about my clothes? Well, you see, the reason I wear our school uniform is... Nothing else will... <laughs> yeah, that... That seems to be a common problem with fat people, huh? And, like... I don't mean that as an insult. That's like, it should be different. There should be more clothes for for fat people, right? Because, like, it's not as if being fat is uncommon or even as unhealthy as people like to believe it is. It's just, for a lot of people, it's just the shape of your body. And even if it is a, even if it is a cause of, like, unhealthiness or whatever, that is not a moral failing. So, like, more clothes should be made. I would also imagine it is especially bad in Japan. Just because, on average, Japanese people do tend to be slimmer than American people, for example. Especially because of, like, beauty standards and everything. But, like, it's bad all over. Anyway, want to go for a bite somewhere? My poor stomach has been crying for a while. Yeah, let's, uh, let's share a meal, Nozomi. Wonderful, my gourmet friend. Then, let's go to ramen shop. The ramen shop, yes. That's the place for you. Cool, man. Iwatodai Strip Mall, Ramen Shop Hagakure. The restaurant is filled with the distinct fishy smell. Time passes by as you ate delicious ramen. Is that enough appetizers? Yes, waiter! Two bowls of the usual today. And as always, make sure one of them is extra large. Nozomi quickly flashed something in his pocket to the owner. The two bowls you were eating have been replaced by two new ones. These are Don 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 Noodles. That's three Dons, always. Once you go Don, you don't go back again. This is the crown jewel of Hagakure's secret hidden menu. I've always considered this lightly flavored spicy miso soup a microcosm of the miracle of creation. The taste eradicated your cares. You gotta know the secret menu, right? I don't know how they expect people to find out about it, though. Oh well, no point in thinking about it. 
What's important is that all the best stuff is hidden from normal people. Don't forget to keep that other bowl you took, waiter. I want to take the soup home with- Oh, don't forget to keep the other bowl you took, waiter. I want to take that soup home with me. You and I are the only two people who know the sublime taste sensation. Don't forget to blow on the noodles to cool them off. Nozomi seems to be displaying kindness. Your relationship is stronger now. My man's is just info dumping to me about food, and I, I respect it, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Nozomi. A mysterious voice rings in your head. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the moon arcana. The Gourmet King Social Link has reached level 3. Your power to create Persona of the Moon Arcana has grown. This has been a privilege, because you got to learn a lot about me. This wouldn't be possible if we were brothers, because the Gourmet King's brother cannot be the Gourmet King. So, do you get me? Who would you say I was? You are the Gourmet King, my friend. Oh, you didn't have to say that. I'm generally shy. Want some of my egg? I ate part of it, but it's still okay. Mizomi seems very happy. Oh no! I better start eating it before the noodle texture goes to hell! Okay, no more talking. By the way, waiter, I want to save the soup in that bowl you took. Get me a takeout container. After finishing up your ramen with Mizomi, you return to the door. That was a fun little exchange, wasn't it? Hi, how was your day? It was a lot of fun, thank you, Fuka. There are three more days until New Year's Eve. Have you decided what you're going to say to Ryoji-kun? I have indeed, yes, thank you for asking. Also, I've, I've made the decision that I am going to cut this in half here, so we can do the next three days to lead up to New Year's. So, on that note, thank you so very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing and leaving a like and all that. And the next one, three more Nozomis and then New Year's Eve. Until then, have a fantastic day, alright? See you then.